This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus C201C201P Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus C201C201P Chromebook. A couple notes before we get started. There's another model, Asus C200, that looks almost identical to this one and the part number is almost the same but the procedure is slightly different and uses a different screen so make sure you have the either the C201 or the C201P Chromebook and the way to tell is if you flip the laptop over on the label on the bottom it will say C201 or C201P also most cases most times when you open up the Chromebook again um, you will they will turn on by itself automatically so you need to turn it off and the way to do that is either a long press of the power button here or turn off inside the operating system okay uh, and the procedure for this is a little bit different so what you have to do is to remove this hinge cover first before you move remove the screen bezel and I'll show you how but first let's take a look at the tools we have we're going to use for this we have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the screwdriver size. We have a hobby knife or exacto knife that's used to pry things open and lift up adhesive tape. And we also have a pair of metal tweezers. It's also used for prying in this case. Okay, so first we're going to remove the hinge cover before. And to do that, we, gotta, we have to open up the seam between the hinge cover and the back of the screen assembly. And the way you do this is, pr is you pry it open with the X-Acto knife or hobby knife. You reach in and find a place and gently work it open. Find a place where, where it will give. So you put it in and then you go like this to pry it open. And it pries open the bottom. Then you flip the laptop over and using, using the tweezers you reach in and then gently pull up. And the same on the other side, like so. And then it comes off. Okay, so when you put it, this thing back on the last step is you wanna make sure that the longer side is on top and the shorter side on the bottom. So you basically just put it in and then snap it in. Okay, once we remove the hinge cover, we can snap off the screen bezel. Okay, and to snap off the screen bezel, we find a place to put our fingertips or fingernails in on the screen side and gently lift up until we hear a place with a snapping sound. Once we do that, we grab the screen bezel with two fingers and then push inward and upward. So find a place to snap it open and then push inward and upward to lift it up. And if you get stuck at a place, come back to that place later and it'll be easier to snap open. And on the bottom, you just pull it forward and then it comes out. So to put it back in, you just tilt the screen forward a little bit and work it, work it in and then you snap it in. Okay, so once we get it, we'll open up the screen assembly. We see that the screen is mounted by two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So in order to remove the screen assembly or a screen from the screen assembly, we remove the four screws. And when we do that, we have the laptop tilted back a little bit, so when we remove all four screws, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Three and four. Okay, once we do that, we grab the screen by the mounting tabs or by the sides and gently, without grabbing any of the cables, 
make sure you don't get stuck and pull the screen down. Next step is to remove the connector and it's also held down by adhesive tape. We use our hobby knife to lift up a corner of the adhesive tape and gently lift up the adhesive tape. And pull the adhesive tape back until we expose the connector. Once we expose the connector, making sure that the laptop is not turned on, we gently pull the connector back until it comes out. I'm going to put it back in to show you how to put it back in, reinsert it. So when you slide it in, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up. This is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, let's pull it out and let's take a look at the screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen with top and bottom mounting brackets. Uh, this screen is a less common type of the 11.6 inch EDP screen in that the brackets, mounting brackets are on the top and on the bottom or mounting tabs. Most 11.6 inch EDP screens have the mounting tabs on the side so make sure you get the right one. Let's give you the part number for this. It's B116XTN02.3. Uh, the part number that you will receive most likely will, will have a different number, but as long as you have the mounting tabs on the top and the bottom, and it's an EDP 30 pin connector, you have the right screen. Now, this particular screen has a glossy finish, and um, the there's the glossy and the matte finish are about equally common. So if one type of finish is more important to the other, you have to specify it when ordering. Uh, we, at this, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen available and uh, we have the top and bottom mounting brackets and the 30 pin connector. And we also have a compatibility guarantee if we don't send you the right screen and it's not compatible, we'll make it right and send you the right screen. We also have a two-year warranty on the screen defects and free email technical support. Finally, this exact same toolkit that I used in this video comes for free with the screen and we have free priority, sh priority mail shipping in the United States so you'll get it in two to three days. Uh, to order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com then there will be a short form for you to fill out where you uh, specify where you need to specify the the laptop model and we'll get back to you and point you the right way to order it online. Uh, if you live outside the United States we can, we can send to most countries around the world just uh, just select your country in the checkout procedure and go from there. Okay once you do get your new screen uh, reconnected as I showed you then make sure that the, all the cables are routed properly up on top. Mount the screen in the mounting tabs. Put the two screws on the top, two screws on the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on and then put the hinge cover back on after that and you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Pan Rutkovich. I'm the laptop doc, doc and the name of this website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.